You might wonder why you take physics class or what real life situations physics could possibly relate to. But it's amazing how much easier it is to understand once you find that relation to the real world. A simple trampoline, for example, is really all about energy. People are always talking about energy. They might say, I need to stock up on energy because I'm staying up late tonight. Or maybe, I can't do my homework now. I don't have the energy. But the scientific definition of energy is the ability to do work. You need energy to do everything you might do throughout the day, from walking to writing to playing outside. Even inanimate objects need energy, like trampolines, for example, especially a specific kind of energy called elastic potential energy. So here's the deal. Energy comes in many forms, such as heat, light, and motion. But there are two broad types of energy that all of them fall under. One, kinetic energy is the energy of motion. It is created when an object is moving. Two, Potential energy is energy that is stored. It is due to either an object's location or its condition. An object can have potential energy due to gravity and its high position, or due to energy it's stored. For example, trampolines work because of elastic potential energy, which is stored in an elastic object using tension or compression. One of the best tools for storing this energy is springs, which are vital to trampolines. Now it's time to apply our physics. Let's look at the basic idea of jumping. The jumper uses their muscles to generate kinetic energy, and as they overcome gravity and rise up and lose speed, they gain potential energy because of the increasing height, but also lose kinetic energy. And as the jumper falls, the opposite energy changes occur. And if that jumper happens to be on a trampoline, then they will land on the bouncy part of the trampoline called the tramp. The basic mechanism is that the tramp catches the jumper, transfers their energy to its springs, and then returns the energy to the jumper, which sends them flying right back up. The springs return the energy to the jumper because, according to Hooke's law, springs will work to return to equilibrium, or a balanced state. So as soon as the springs take in the jumper's energy in the form of elastic potential energy, they transfer it back to the jumper in the form of kinetic energy. What looks like just a fun way to spend a day outside is actually a display of the basic laws and principles of physics. So go ahead and jump and know what really sends you flying.